Hey guys, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here, and I'm back with another one for you. Um, if you like this channel and, and what you see, consider subscribing. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. If you don't, you know, give me a thumbs down. We're all good. Um, so, uh, today's topic is going to be a reasonably priced knife company that is commonly overlooked. Uh, it, it's one of my favorite, um, I've been using them for a long time. They're a wonderful knife company and they have a very broad selection of knives and a very, well, for those of you who have to have made in the USA, they've got you covered there. For you who don't care about made in China, they got you over there. Um, and for those of you who still want part of it to be, you know, made in America, for example, assembled in America, made in Japan type thing where all the parts and, and pieces are cut and made in China and then shipped here and put together by Americans. Um, they, they cover you from, from all spectrums, all right, from 100% to made in China, or from 100% in the USA to made in China, any which way you want to go. But without rambling on anymore, um, the brand that, that I highly recommend is Kershaw, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few examples of my Kershaw's, just a, a three different types, okay? Now... The first one I'm going to show you guys have probably seen on this channel if you, you you know subscribe to my channel and watch me. All right, and this is my uh, my everyday carry. All right, this is my uh, folder, my flip folder, whatever you want to call it. All right, it is definitely um, this one is not spring loaded, but it's spring assist, so it it has a very nice smooth easy fast opening I, mean, I just love the action on this thing it's almost like uh <laughs> instantaneously um with little effort it's hard to open in just about any other way you try using the the thumb studs it's it's next to impossible the thumb studs are more for closing it even just trying to open it like this, it's really tough. And when it does, it wants to kind of give you a little scare. But you barely touch the little flipper on the back. Boom. Love this knife. It's got the, the tanto edge on it. Or, um, it's extremely sharp. Holds an excellent edge. I, I barely ever have. In fact, I think I've used a steel or a, a porcelain steel on this once. And this thing, I tell you, is just, I love this thing. And just any which way you use it, it's like butter. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really big on knowing a lot about knives, but this is a 1990 steel. Um, it's got a some sort of coating on it. You know, I, I don't know a whole lot about it, but this one right here is a 100% made in America. Uh, I, I believe, I believe this is my only one made 100% in America. Um, next one I want to show you is my boot knife, but I don't own boots, so I turned it into an ankle knife. That's why it looks kind of funny with this stuff on it. But it actually sits pretty comfortably. But this is my uh, single edged. This is not a sharpened edge. All right. But my single edged uh, boot dagger. Well, it's not a dagger because it's a single edge, but boot knife. Um, this thing here is incredible. It's got a really good hefty weight to it. It's got a pretty darn good steel. I've only had to sharpen this one a couple of times. Hold on, let me see if I can see what that steel is. No, no, that's just a, um, 
that's just the uh, manufacturer number so but this thing I, I tell you is very 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 strong uh, it holds an edge incredibly guys um, I think on that last one I gave you was the part number two not the steel uh, so I didn't break out the magnifying glass I couldn't see with my blind eyes uh, so this this right here I, I, I tell you really good knife uh, all, all Kershaw knives are really nice and they're they're super reasonably priced I mean like for this one I spent uh, I think it was 45 or 50 dollars um and i know some of you are going well that's not much of a penny pinching well for a quality knife yeah it is um i'm not talking about a gerber all right now granted don't get me wrong gerber's got good steel good products but by any means they are not a a quality knife um now they make uh, other quality stuff but their knives just just flat out knives like their flipper um their uh fixed knives all that kind of stuff i mean honestly they're they're not that quality and you still pay you know 30 bucks for them so that is a quality knife very quality knife all right and everything is reversible uh I, you know i can um, are completely ambidextrous all the way down to the belt clip can be reversed to the other end and you can switch it and drop it to the so that it fits down your pocket like this instead of down like this just depends on how you're comfortable love that knife um this one here very comfortable too uh very comfortable in the hand uh very comfortable to use uh absolutely adore this knife no. Another one I have is this one here. Uh, not this. This is actually a 1960s that was passed down from a, a very close friend of mine. This is a, a nice knife. Um, it's a little rough. Uh, it, it's seen better days. It was, it was given to me, basically, in this condition. But let me tell you, I love this knife. Uh, those old 1960s specials, I, I tell you, 1960s, 1950s, 1940s, I mean, they knew how to make quality good stuff. Looks like it's time to re-oil that a little bit. Um, but this bad boy here, all right, this is, this is what I carry. Um, it's kind of like a kukri. But, but it's not, it's actually just really a fat belly. If you notice, when you look at the arch here, the tip doesn't come down and drop the way a kukri does. It basically just has a very fat belly. And if you look at it, it has an extremely thick spine. And, and the, the point of this um, is more of an all-purpose knife. I carry this instead of a hatchet. Um, this way I have a knife that I can use for other things. Like, let me give you an example, the little, little curve right here. All right. You can actually put your hand right there very comfortably because that belly's so fat and you can actually use it as a pole blade right there in that nice curve. All right. Nice pole blade. The fat belly, the placement of it, and the weight allows it to be a very good chopper um, for um, chopping down small trees, for splitting wood, um, just about anything you would use a hatchet for. This thing works great. All right, now on this one, it does have the steel, and it is a uh, 1077. Now this one is one of those made in Chinese and 1077 is basically the uh, um, highest quality steel, uh, high, the highest quality high carbon steel that China makes. All right. So it's the top of the top that they make. And granted, everybody thinks, well, China doesn't make quality things. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Chinese do make quality things. They just don't like to send them out. <laughs> okay. 
um, you've got to work to get their quality stuff and you've got to pay to get their quality stuff. Um, it's, it's just like anything else. Now, granted, they have tons and tons and tons of cheap stuff that they pump out by the billions and ship over here and everybody just picks them up and go, oh, you know, hey, this looks like a decent thing, but it just ends up being... <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> guys, I paid... I paid back when I got this thing eighty dollars. I think it's going for around a hundred and ten right now. And let me tell you, it's still at a hundred and ten dollars worth every penny. This thing will hold an edge. It will not break on you. Um, it has a very very comfortable rubberized handle. You know, it's got a place to put your lander at the top or your I can't remember what it's called, but you know, you're, you're, uh, so you don't let it go slinging out up here on top. I mean, I guess it's still a lanyard either which way, but this way it actually locks it in your hand versus it, uh, just hanging loose. So it, it literally makes it almost, I mean, it's hard to even get in when you're going in, you've got to do this funky movement to get in there if you do it properly and you'll see how tight the string comes across my my hand there it is locked in there um so kershaw i am not supported by them i have never gotten not a dime from them i've never gotten a free product from them but they are a commonly overlooked reasonably priced high quality manufacturer of blades <laughs> and uh, I, I mean that They're, they are high quality but they still pay or uh, not pay but charge a reasonable price not a super great deal but if you're looking for something that's let's say buck quality well bucks not even that great anymore but um, I don't know. I don't, I don't spend the, you know, five, six hundred dollars on a blade. Therefore, I really don't know those brands very well. But this Kershaw here, or these Kershaws here, will keep in pace with just about any high-priced, high-quality knife. Um, I'm not going to say that those high-priced ones can't do it better. Um, I'm, I'm sure, you know, they can. Um, but not at such a difference that I feel it's worth paying five, six, seven, eight times as much for it. Um, but same to go for this. I mean, you're paying, you know, four or five times some cheaper knives or, you know, two times more than something like a Gerber. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're still getting four or five times the better quality. So keep that in mind when you go to buy your next blade that Kershaw might be worth looking at. Um, you can catch them online. They have, like I said, a very huge selection of knives and everything you can think of from necklace knives to boot knives to flippers to automatic uh, knives to... Um, you know, machetes and, and, you know, whatever style you want to call this thing or, or, you know, it's, it's a good, good company guys. And I highly recommend you check them out. So, um, on that note, I don't have anything else to add. Uh, if you liked this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, all that crap I said in the beginning. Uh, so, um, anyways, God's good and God bless.